Good evening, you're watching No Spin. I'm Nidhi Razdan. Our big focus tonight, the horrific rape and murder of two teenage Dalit sisters in UP who were then hung from a tree in Lakhimpur by five men. Police say they've arrested all the six involved in the double murder. The accused, Suhail Junaid, Hafizul Rahman and Karim Udimin Arif and a sixth man named Chotu, a neighbour of the girls who allegedly introduced them to these men, has also been arrested. Now, the incident has brought back horrifying memories of the 2014 incident in Badayun when the bodies of two girls were found hanging from a tree. The opposition has attacked the Yogi Adityanath government over law and order in UP. But the bigger issue here is how we essentially are a country for no women. If you look at the crime statistics, and I'm talking about official numbers here, there was a 15% rise in crimes against women in 2021 as compared to the previous year. Well, joining us on the program now, our panel this evening, Ghansham Tiwari of the Samajwadi Party is with us, Geeta Bhatt, a political analyst and supporter of the BJP, Parankhuri Patak, spokesperson of the Congress is with us, uh, and we'll go to the rest of our panelists very shortly. Uh, but Ghansham Tiwari, you know, uh, uh, the SP, of course, has stepped forward and, and at attacked the law and order situation in UP. It's frightening, actually, uh, that no, there's, no, there's no deterrence at all. It's the same kind of pattern that is being repeated in crime after crime. Good evening, Nidhi, to you, my fellow co-panelists and the viewers. I think uh, it is clear that this uh, kind of this these type of crimes are horrific, and there is no systematic model that UP government has been able to put in place to create a deterrent. In response of such crimes, they re, uh, they retort either to to fake data or they retort to rhetoric. And uh, whether it is this incident or the Hathras incident, the the only agenda it seems that the government has is to save its image and point finger at somebody else and as a result you don't you see that while they talk about love jihad and and other such issues anti romeo squads none of these things hold any water on the ground because uh, the perpetrators are not impacted and in some way the the poor response of the government only emboldens the perpetrators Geeta Bhatt, how would you see this as a woman, though, and or as somebody who essentially is supportive of the state government there? Wouldn't you concede uh, that, that this is uh, no country for women, that we're seeing th these repeated crimes taking place? There is a pattern, I mean, you know, in hanging women from trees, there is no deterrence, no fear of the law. Uh, Nidhi, definitely were very, very horrific, uh, you know, incidents which had taken place and we have been seeing whether it was uh, in Jharkhand, you know, when just few days back in Dumka, how a girl was, you know, burnt just because uh, she was not uh, accepting the advances from a man over there called Shah Rukh. And so many, there are so many such incidences which are taking place, whether in Rajasthan. So the point here is that uh, why definitely the state governments have to be have to very very proactively look into the issue of law and order and safety for women uh, across the country in all the states at the same time somewhere within the society i think that that sensitivity towards women respecting whether they want to be you know want to accept someone's advances or not is something for which needs to be generated and that i think somewhere is lacking so these are some of the issues which are important but the point is that uh, some of the you know opposition leaders they are the i do remember that how uh, priyanka uh, vadra and rahul gandhi they had how they had stormed you know going visiting in hathras uh, when there was an unfortunate incident but why these political leaders where they are in government governance why do they forget when such horrific incidents takes place in Rajasthan, you see, we need to be above politics when we are discussing the issues which are related to the safety of women. So, and especially in those women who are coming from rural background, where they, they this kind of a sensitivity or this kind of empowerment, where they know what are their rights, what are, you know, how legally no, I, they I, can I, I get your issues. point that it, it can't be selective and uh, absolutely, uh, we, I mean, we've done shows on what happened in Jharkhand. Uh, what has happened in other states as well. And Pankhuri Pathak, therefore, uh, it can't be just UP-centric, can it? When it comes to the issue of safety of women, crimes against women, this is a national problem. And I actually disagree with Geeta Bhatt. I think this should be a political issue. These are things that are, you know, should be made front and center of our politics. As women, as a woman voter, I demand accountability from all of you. Pankhuri Pathak. Nidhi, definitely what we are seeing today is 
is a national issue crime against women the rising crime against women is a national issue but we cannot ignore the current situation in uttar pradesh today we have seen this incident in lakhimpur a few years back we saw what happened in hathras a few you know sometimes when a video or some visuals go viral and delhi and noida media takes uh, notice of it we start, you know there's this outrage and we discuss this issues but as somebody coming from uttar pradesh i can tell you what has happened in lakhimpur uh, yesterday is happening in uttar pradesh daily uh, every hour probably and the worst part is that most of these cases are not even registered they are not even reported because in uttar pradesh today women are living uh, they are totally cornered they are living in fear and they are cornered from all sides if you look at some of the the recent incidents where women in uh, uttar pradesh when they went to report certain crimes against them they were uh, they were raped inside the police stations this happened in kanauj a few days back where a mother was raped when she went to report a crime against her daughter similarly a minor was raped in lalitpur when she uh, went to a police station so women today don't know where to go they don't know how to seek help and anti social elements who indulge in such crimes know that women are helpless today that law and order in uttar pradesh has totally failed and that most of the women will be too helpless and too scared to even take these cases to the authorities so definitely they are emboldened they feel protected they feel secured and for the first time in the history of this country there is an atmosphere of encouraging crime against women for the first time we have seen protest marches in support uh, support of rapists for the first time we have seen rapists being uh, let off and being given a hero's welcome so when we talk about the okay. mentality against crime against women we also need to look Actually, at how good political parties that's and political good point. people are really you know uh, are behaving and how they are acting when such crimes take place uh, that, that is a good point uh, uh, karuna nandi uh, advocate of the supreme court is with us and and karuna nandi you know the statistics of course are are very discouraging and especially when you see you know in the post nirbhaya a uh, scenario where we thought we had gotten a tougher law uh, and that maybe that would be a deterrent obviously a that's not the case uh, but b the point that pankhuri pathak makes is that in when when you garland and you facilitate uh, felicitate uh, you know convicted rapists and murderers like in bilkis's case what is the message that's going out what, what is that where do we stand on the issue of keeping women safe the message that goes out is one that if it's a particular type of victim and a particular type of perpetrator then you will not be punished like the next person and that you will be you know welcomed when you come out but the second thing is that these distinctions sometimes don't even um always apply because if you look at the similarity of the lakhimpur kheri um atrocity against two dalit girls and if you look at the similarity with the way that two very young girls in badayu were uh, killed and the kind of impunity that took place in the badayu case because let us not forget that first they said that there is no you know the uh, river rose up and there's no evidence they they then said that the the girls were not raped they then said and there's the cbi actually filed a closure report that the court had to reject if you look at the hathras incident only a couple of year a days ago the chief minister has said that he doesn't want to give the house and that he doesn't want to give the uh, job although the compensation has been given even though the the atrocities act to protect uh, you know dalits and scheduled tribes from atrocities says quite clearly that relocation must be done right under law in fact the high court had directed um, mr ditinas to do it but we uh, there are reports i hope they're not true but there are news reports from the print and other uh, you know reliable media outlets saying that he doesn't want to do this anymore so the thing is that there are two issues here one is that crimes against women there has to be zero tolerance against it and far from it what we see is a very high tolerance yeah. in particular when the crime is against a particular disadvantaged community and when in particular when the crime is by for example kuldeep singh singer 
a singer where the father was killed in custody the father of the victim was yeah. killed in custody and as you said, so the kind of impunity we've seen in uttar pradesh has yeah. been extreme L let me take that to mr alok watts of the bjp isn't that a very important point that in the in, in, in some of the most high profile rape and murder cases in up in particular that we've seen in the past few years that there is there has been no closure there's been no justice far from it there has been impunity uh, and and um, you know a, a complete uh, disregard for for the law alokwats that's why you keep, you keep seeing these incidents happening again and again you see nidhi there is singer today he is behind bars law takes it and we stand with law but let me tell you one thing the society has people are not trying to realize one thing like okay you blame me i'll accept it that blame game should stop the society has deteriorated the mindset of people has deteriorated and this mobile business this has further deteriorated especially in the villages the interaction between girl and boy has become very high i belong to a village more than 50 girls run away from my village with somebody or the other only because of this mobile you're blaming mobile think, phones for crimes against women seriously it is it is it is one of the reasons yes. not the only reason for interacting with each other and look here what is within the link? 24 hours what is the link mr watts how can you blame mobile they, phones it's it's not it's i mean how, how are you blaming mobile phones for this this is fascinating Didi, to me Didi, you you i belong to one of the remotest villages in india i know what mobile does there you you cannot realize sitting in delhi what mobile does in the villages but interconnecting people and making them make plans to run away make plans to meet make plans to go and get raped I'm if sorry. Make knew, plans to go and get raped? Are you serious, course, Mr. Watts? Please take that back. I don't think you realize what you said. Let I'll me give you a chance it. to go if, back on that. Okay. Nobody gets somebody, invited to be raped. I'm sorry. Let me let me tell you. If somebody lures you, and he doesn't tell you the real intention, that is what I meant you're, by this. You're blaming the victims. You're blaming the survivors and if victims. I, if I if I you know if an innocent person. is lured by somebody on some other pretext that is what i meant i didn't mean what you literally took it i really don't know what you mean but i find it very offensive i'm sorry as a woman i find it very offensive ganesh tiwari wants to come in if you want to please, if you are finding please, it offensive please mr watts please back. let I'll us take, let I'll us not insult back. our intelligence here no mr. it's worse Tiwari. than that may yeah. i please come in mr. after yes, ganesh tiwari yes, go ahead i think the problem <laughs> with the bjp leader here uh mr vadhivari i'll be brief and uh, uh, thank you for thank you for sure, giving sure, me this brief time the problem with the bjp leader here is a problem that is fairly classic but it is better disguised usually what this person is saying is that if you are exercise your fundamental right uh, you know to access social interaction to access political contribution to access markets through your phone through your mobile mr vats and you are from the ruling party in the state and the center if no somebody chooses to access her fundamental rights you are saying that she is asking to be raped and this is no i didn't only mean that. very slightly I a paraphrase sir no i mean and what's somebody interesting you. if somebody i may just finish you. but then you're still saying it's her fault for being on a mobile right so what i'm saying to you mr watts is that it is leaders like you that are causing women to be unsafe trammeled in addition to be violated sexually and in addition to not having redress because leaders like you are saying that it is their fault that, yeah, that, that they are that being we, that women they are they are so being constricted you have, you have without totally, no that they are being not being allowed to totally speak to participate I said only this is a link to have link their to romantic rights that come from own, their own you know, free will and All that right, you are saying yeah. that in the name of the I kind just, of violent to, misogynist yeah. protection absolutely it's 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 what yes. i just want to go across excusing i just want to go across it's very important to recognize what yeah. you are saying as a bjp leader chandrashekhar no, azad of the azad samaj party is joining us uh, live as well briefly right now 
चंद्रशेखर आजाद जस्ट वॉन्टेड योर फर्स्ट रिएक्शन आपको इस इंसिडेंट के बारे में क्या मालूम पड़ा है अभी तक क्या आप वहां पे जाएंगे फैमिली से मिलेंगे क्या वॉट आर द डिटेल्स यू हैव जी हमारी टीम वहां पर है कल रात से ही और मैं खुद मैंने अभी घटना की जानकारी लेके पीड़ित परिवार जो है उनकी माँ उनके पिताजी से उनके भाइयों से बात की है और मैं वहां जल्दी जाऊंगा अभी पुलिस जो कि अपना कार्य कर रही है तो हम लोगों ने उनपे भी भरोसा हमने किया कि भाई वो अपना कार्य जिम्मेदारी से करें तो जल्द ही मैं उस परिवार से मिलने के लिए जाऊंगा और अगर क्योंकि कई घटनाएं हमने ऐसी देखी जब पीड़ितों के की आवाज उठाने के जगह आरोपियों के पक्ष में पंचायतें होने लग जाए तब ज्यादा जरूरी हो जाता है कि उन घटनाओं पर जाया जाए जहां पुलिस और अपराधी मिलकर जो है वो अपराधियों का समर्थन करते हैं तो उन घटनाओं पर जाना बहुत जरूरी होता है तो मैं यहाँ भी जाने के लिए तैयारी कर रहा हूँ बहुत जल्द हमारी टीम वहां है बहुत जल्द मैं वहां जाऊंगा जी लेकिन उससे पहले निधि जी मुझे आपसे कहना है कि ये समाज जो है ना ये समाज ही इसी समाज से भी अपराधी भी इसी समाज से जो हमारा भारतीय समाज है और जैसी घटनाएं जैसी कार्रवाइया होती उसको देख के ही लोग अपना मन बनाते हैं जब यहाँ बिल्किस बानो के आरोपियों का स्वागत किया जाता है तो मैं समझता हूँ कि फिर आरोपियों में इस बात का डर जाना कि उनके खिलाफ कोई कार्रवाई होगी उनको एक संदेश मिलता है कि अगर वो भी ऐसा जगन्य अपराध करेंगे तो उनको छूट मिल जाएगी बिल्कुल तो जब हम इन घटनाओं से आरोपी सीख लेते हैं तो वो इस तरह के कदम को बड़ी आसानी से उठा लेते हैं उनको नहीं पता है इसकी कार्रवाई क्या होगी अभी दो साल हो गए यहाँ निर्भया उसके मामले को हाथरस की बेटी के अब तक न्याय नहीं मिला तो हमारी जो न्याय व्यवस्था ये स्पष्ट करती है कि आरोपियों को यहाँ से एक बल मिल रहा है उत्तर प्रदेश में तो घटनाएं रोज हो रही है मैंने कई घटनाओं का जिक्र किया अभी पीलीभीत में जिक्र किया रेप में सफल नहीं हुआ तो डीजल डाल के जला दी है बच्ची को आगरा में एक महिला देखभाल के साथ ऐसा हुआ रेप में सफल ना होने पे तेजाब डाल दिया गोरखपुर में जहाँ मुख्यमंत्री का जो होमलैंड है वहां पे रेलवे कानून का किसी को डर ही नहीं डर नहीं है डर डर तब होगा ना जब हम इस बात को नोटिस करेंगे की मुख्यमंत्री या सरकार इस डर से कार्रवाई करे की विपक्ष जो है हमलावर हो जाएगा विपक्ष क्या हमलावर होगा आपकी सरकार है पुलिस व्यवस्था आपने लगाई फिर क्यों अपराधियों का अपराधी से बेखोफ है क्यों कार्रवाई नहीं हो रही है क्यों इंतजार हो रहा है कि विपक्ष के लोग ट्वीट करेंगे तो सरकार की जिम्मे वो अधिकारी तनख्वाह ले रहे हैं आप उनसे सवाल कीजिए कि आपका क्राइम क्यों पड़ रहा है एनसीआरबी के डाटे के अनुसार सबसे ज्यादा महिलाओं पर जो हिंसा हो रही है उत्तर प्रदेश में हो रही है और मुख्यमंत्री जी विज्ञापन देकर सोच रहे हैं कि कानून व्यवस्था ठीक हो जाएगी ऐसे कैसे हो जाएगी तो यहाँ हालात बस से बदतर है बच्चे सुरक्षित नहीं ना स्कूलों में ना सड़कों पे ना घरों में और सरकार ताली पीट रही है और कम पीड़ितों को धमकाने काम किया जाए तो ये अन्याय है और हम इसके खिलाफ और मैं चाहता हूँ इतनी कठोर कार्रवाई हो कि किसी किसी भी बच्ची की तरफ आप पहले अपराधी एक हजार बार पूछे इतनी कठिन कठोर कार्रवाई एक आखिरी सवाल मेरा ये है क्योंकि इस इस मामले में भी इस हादसे में भी जो फैमिली कह रही है और जो पुलिस कह रही है उसमें काफी अंतर है पुलिस कहती है लड़कियां लड़कों को जानती थी उनके साथ विलिंगली गई हैं मोटरसाइकिल पे बैठ के गई हैं फैमिली कह रही है ऐसा कुछ नहीं था उन्हें किडनैप किया गया और वहां पे आज प्रोटेस्ट भी हुए हैं गांव में तो आप क्या सुन रहे हैं इस इस मतलब ये हुआ कैसे और कुछ डिटेल्स मिले आपको देखिये हमारी टीम वहां परसों से काम करे आज मेरे परिवार से बात हुई जहां तक मैं समझता हूँ वो इस हालात में नहीं क्यों बात करे फिर भी जिनकी दो बच्चियां चली गई हो वो बहुत तकलीफ में है तो मैं समझता हूँ पुलिस जो कह रही है पुलिस तो इसलिए कह रही है कल रात वहां बड़े पैमाने पर लोग जुटे और पूरे विपक्ष ने इस बात का सवाल पूछा कि हमने आजादी से पहले इस तरह के मामले सुने थे तब दो दो बच्चों के साथ इस तरह होता तो आज क्या हो रहा है तो मैं समझता हूँ पुलिस की जो कहानी है मैं पुलिस को झूठा भी नहीं कह रहा हूँ मगर मैं कह रहा हूँ कि पुलिस अगर इस वजह से इस वजह से कुछ कार्रवाई कर रही है कि विपक्ष के लोग हम मांग हंगामा करेंगे तो गलत पुलिस सकारात्मक कार्रवाई करे और निष्पक्ष कार्रवाई करे और जो भी आरोपी है उसके खिलाफ कठोर कार्रवाई करे तो उनकी कहानी और उसका चीजें आप ये देखिए बहुत सारे मामले ऐसे हैं जिनमें छह छह महीने लग गए कोई वो नहीं हुए लेकिन यहाँ देखिए तत्काल जो है सबको जानकारी पुलिस को लगी है पुलिस को इतनी जानकारी अगर लगी तो पुलिस को नहीं पता कि ऐसे आरोपी अच्छा बच्चिया आप कह रही है कि बच्चिया बैठ के गई तो बच्चिया उन दरिंदों के साथ इसलिए गई कि उनके वो उनका रेप किया जाएगा उनकी हत्या होगी ऐसे दरिंदों के साथ बच्चिया जाएंगी क्या कहानी बना दी जी ऐसे ही तो कहानी हमने हाथरस में भी सुनी थी उस बच्ची के साथ कि उसके पर, प्रेम प्रसंग थे वीडियो ऑडियो कॉल दिखा गई वीडियो कॉल दिखाई गई व्हाट्सएप चैट दिखाई ये ड्रामा तो हम बहुत दिन सुनते आ रहे हैं मैं मुख्यमंत्री से पूछना चाहता हूं आप बड़े मीडिया के माध्यम से कि आपकी सरकार है सारी पुलिस आपके पास किसने रोका नहीं फिर बच्चों के रेप कब रोकेंगे आप क्या आपको उनकी चीखें नहीं सुनाई देती क्या आप बहरे हो गए 
यह न्याय रोकने के लिए क्या कर रहे हैं आप यह बस जो है सरकार बनानी है लोकार्पण करने या विज्ञापन देके वाहवाही लूटने इससे काम चल जाएगा या आपके सर, आपके सीनियर नेता आपकी पीठ सफा दें इससे काम चल जाएगा आप तो अपने गृह जनपद को सुरक्षित रख पा रहे हैं
or the the conviction rates are improving the third is the moment this this the crime has an ability to turn into a communal affair then bjp will choose its sides when it is an affair to save bjp's members they will campaign right. against I the victim i'm afraid i'm completely out of time i'm completely out of time pankhuri i just uh, i want to come give you the last 30 seconds please go ahead nidhi i also maybe i would yeah. just like to say pankhuri. that first of all there should yeah the issue of crime against women were, were, uh, should not be one about politics but let's not forget that today we have a government Uh, which has a totally misogynist mindset, and it is something that we say, uh, saw on your own panel discussion today, when the BJP spokesperson tried his best to uh, to shame the victim, to blame mobile phones, and blame young girls for the crimes happening to them. So this is the attitude that yeah, we are seeing across the country in all BJP yeah. ruled states. And let's not forget that the very uh, the the chief minister of the same state of Uttar Pradesh. has on record said that women should be restricted to households their energy is destructive and they should not be allowed to go out so that is the kind of mindset the ruling uh, class has today and that is another reason right. why we are seeing a increase yeah uh, well i i, I think the crime. responses to these uh, are are absolutely horrendous both politically and otherwise have to leave it there for the moment uh, we will be following this story very closely in the days ahead thanks very much to all of you for joining us thank you